Okay guys, so let's take a look at how to do the drones at Razorback, starting with the build. I run a four-piece hardwired with BTSUs and a Wyvern glass cannon on the chest. For the extra damage, the four-piece hardwires with a mask with skill damage rolled into it. Same with the backpack, the, uh, the knee pads, and the holster. So skill damage, make sure you got skill damage rolled into everything because you want it to be for sure when you pulse those drones, you're going to end up killing all of them. Yeah, the glass can is for extra measure, and you get 10% skill damage from the Wyvernware uh, piece. And then the BTSU is for the emergency uh, overcharge. If people go down, you need to refresh hives, whatever, that type of shit. You're going to run the pulse jammer and a restore hive. Hive, you're going to drop to uh, reset the jammer. It also serves a double purpose of healing up people who need a little bit of extra armor. So the timing of it, what most people get wrong is they'll either overcharge their hive by cracking it, which can screw up the timing, uh, or they they deploy the hive too soon. Now you see those two little procs for hardwired, right? The orange one, you don't really have to pay attention to. It's that gray one. That gray box, once that gray box disappears, you can drop your hive and that will reset the pulse. If you pick up your hive and drop it before that gray box disappears, you won't get the cooldown, right? Just like that. See how it goes to 11 and 10? I had to pick it up again and drop it. If you drop it when that gray hardwired uh, proc disappears, your high, your pulse will reset. See, watch. It's gone. Drop high. Pulse is reset. Just that simple. Don't crack your hive unless it's an emergency. Um, so let's take a look at the actual timing of the person on plates. I do plates with the drones from always from plate one because our damage phase is 95% of the time it's front, back, front, back. What that means is we're gonna damage the front using uh, both plate one and four, plates two and three, and Overwatch is one and four, right? While we're doing the front damage, Overwatch 2 and 3 should be prepping the back, just hitting those weak points in preparation for the second lift when you'll have plates 2 and 3 along with Overwatches 2 and 3 damaging the back. So the only time you have to bring people forward is like the first lift usually, right? So we're going to the first lift here. So what's going to happen is once we get on plates, we'll charge up, right? We're going to charge the plates. For this lift, plates two and three are going to run up to the front. So plate two is going to run up to me. Plate four is going to run up to, or plate uh, three is going to run up to plate four to help with the damage. So here's the timing of it. You want to fire your crossbow first, okay? Crossbow's fired. Charge the pulse. Let it go. Come up over here, I'm gonna drop the hive to reset my pulse. The first one is a freebie, okay? All right. There we go, drones are pulsed. Pick up my hive. Getting the damage in the front. The guys in the back are prepping the back. They're just shooting the weak points, not with the intent of destroying them yet, just getting them ready. All right, so we're calling instant plates here. So I'm gonna say three, two, one on plates. We're right back on the plates. some people up around 80% I'll usually say crossbows grenades ready to let everybody know it's from 0 to 80 the plate people should be helping their overwatches all right so fire the crossbow full pulse on the drones as soon as the circle disappears I'm coming out I drop the hive just like that that reset the pulse and get some damage full pulse kill all those drones going to damage in this point we're prepping the front because they're doing back damage right now we're just preparing the front for the third lift, which will be front damage. That's how you get your front, back, front, back. That's referring to the damage that you're doing on Razorback, the sequence that you're doing it in. Now, so so we have a man down right here, right? So if I needed to, I can drop that. I can drop the hive, and if I cracked it, it would have reset his hive, right? So he wouldn't have to worry about his hive on cooldown. I normally wait till we get a few people that have gone down if that happens. So you get more bang for your buck on that overcharge because you can only do it every like minute and a half or whatever the case may be, right? 
So if you got two people down, it's a waste on one person. If you got two or three that have went down in a cycle, then it's a good idea to crack that hive so you can re refresh their uh, their cooldowns and they don't have to, they can go down twice in a row basically. Okay, so <clears throat> this is going to be front damage. We've already prepped it, right? So we're going to finish off this front damage. Okay, so it's opened up. We get the front damage. Now we're just going to hang out here. So there's different ways people do it. I mean, you can do it faster if you just have them open the back and hit it right now, just to get it to close and avoid this whole hangout stage. But we're not doing that in this particular run. All right, so it's closing up. The hive is out, so it saved me, didn't save him. So this is the fourth lift here. You got 25% to go. So this is gonna be the, the final back in the front back, front back sequence. This is the only time that after I fire my crossbow, I'm actually gonna move to the back. For the first three lifts, there's no need for me to go to the back with my paltry DPS on this build. Um, it's just a risk because if I end up getting hit by one of those grenades when Razorback closes and I go down, I can't pulse the drones. If I can't pulse the drones, they're gonna start picking people off. And that's when you hear things like drones, drones, right? And so it's such an unsung job, the drone, the drone build. Because if you do it wrong, the whole team is gonna let you know about it. So we're at 50, 60%, 70. All right, so getting the crossbow ready. Firing the crossbow, pulsing the drones. Okay, I'm gonna toss my hive right here to reset my cooldown. There, cooldowns are set. Pulse these drones. Let these guys do their thing, plus they have the, uh, the hive there to refill their armor. Damage is complete and we're going home. Just that simple. So hopefully this uh, helped out for the drone build. Do it exactly like that, you'll never have any problems. Uh, it might take a little bit of practice to get that timing down, but remember, it's the, the gray hardwired box that you have to be aware of. Once that is gone, feel free to drop your hive, that will reset your pulse and you're good to go again. So you can actually do it on an endless loop. It says there's a 20 second duration, but that's not, it doesn't really apply to you. That's, um, I don't know what it is about the game. So you can actually get away with doing the your, your pulse uh, a lot more frequently than 20, 20 seconds. All right, guys, so I hope that helps and uh, good luck. Make those drone builds and let's run some more raids.